now from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod in this one. Number 39. What should we keep an eye on here? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Ready to go now. And the batter now, jerks and pro farm. Just missed. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Got him looking. And one out now. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. That one's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. One out, base is empty. Oh. Next one in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swings and misses, struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Manny Machado. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he was late. And another ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Two outs. Fly ball center field. Martinez flying after this one. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here in Cleveland. And on the hill today, Randy Vasquez. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Got him looking. One gone, bottom half of the first. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Now, here is Angel Martinez. Throws to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Singy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys even during batting practice when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. And a foul ball. You know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. 
as my buddy Joe a swing and a miss that retires the side and that'll do it Guardians fail to score scoreless after one top of the second and here is Xander Bogarts Bogarts who wears that number two on his back for his idol Derek Jeter just missed hit softly on the ground left side toss to Naylor leadoff man retired here in the second and he looked a little tentative on that swing almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One and two. Second inning here, no score. for the strikeout fastball to letters frozen for strike three off to a strong start Singy as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced well he's definitely minimizing contact he can get the swing and miss when he needs it but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him allowing some balls in play as well now here is Hassan Kim swings through the fastball up in the zone Two down, nobody on. That one way outside. It's two and two. Two outs. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. of the second so in now for Cleveland Josh Naylor the first baseman Josh Naylor here's a 1-1 foul back our way and that's out of play next offering is down low Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And another ball. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Stairs. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Out to short. Kim. Off balance feed. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it.
Here's Andre Jimenez. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. That one down the line, and that squirts through. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. One away, runners at second and third. Here's the rookie third baseman. Next pitch is outside. Two on, one out. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two-two now. That one is absolutely belted. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. One runs in. Relay throw. Safe. He beats it. And they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling, and I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Bo Naylor at the plate now. 1-1 one, one now. Oh, and he hit him. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. Runners on the corners with one gone. And up next for Cleveland, Brian Rocchio. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The 1-2. The shortstop takes the ball. 2-2. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Brown ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But they pick up a pair here, both coming on this two-run triple. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Top half of the third inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two straight. One down, base is empty. Oh. And a curve is down and in. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Johnson.
Next offering down low and in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. Three ball. The Padres down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's down a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive with the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. And he deals. Profar gets a piece there. Bows it off, still one and two. Two outs. Luke behind second and makes the play, and that's out number three. One left for San Diego. They trail it here, two nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Angel Martinez. Next pitch is downstairs. You know, these Guardians do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing no. very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And that's down a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Throw to first. Martinez gets back easily. Martinez gets his lead at first with nobody out. Here's Jose Ramirez. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. He sends it out of here, and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Josh Naylor. Here's a one-two. Oh, Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And now the right now fielder, that, Will Brennan. The right fielder. Will. Well, Chris, through the early right stages, there. he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into oh. this game. And another ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that yep. much okay. if your starter doesn't go that deep because Three teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Kicks and fires. Pulls that one foul. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. 
Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. One down. Andres Jimenez getting ready to hit. Man at second. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base now with a quick free pass. Now the third baseman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Profar makes the catch. So first and second with two outs. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Angel De Los Santos appears to be getting loose. And a one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Jose Ramirez with the homer here. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now at Progressive Field as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Donovan Solano. Solano. Just off the inside edge. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but... First homer for Cleaver. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's Machado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Blows the high knee past him. That's a strikeout. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. This one in the air, center field. Has a beat on it. Pulls it in to end the inning. Pitching change here, Angel De Los Santos. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Brian Riquillo. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. That one misses, and that's ball three. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off, 
Little did we know that it would convert into a 22 game winning streak and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Drops into the glove and there's one down. Now batter. No left fielder. Defense. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. One down, base is empty. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. down the line put the extra bases now he'll turn for second and he'll pull in there with a stand up double showed some really nice patience in that at bat worked himself into a good count that was a thing of beauty he may have been a little behind the pitch but by getting that ball into the hitting zone early on in his swing he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left so a man aboard Stepping up for the Guardians, Angel Martinez. And the righty deals. Oh, that pitch inside. just misses the inside corner, and the count is two and two. De Los Santos throws right over. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. It's so rare that the pitcher is able to be that quick and make an accurate throw to second base. It's just not a normal thing for him to do, but does a really nice job there of getting it to that middle infielder and the tag being put on the runner. Nice pickoff right there. And another ball. He should okay. get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's there. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Ready now for the leading fifth inning. The leading off, Jake Cronenworth. Number nine. Jake. Cronenworth, a seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is out of here. A massive home run is 14th of the year and they're chipping away it's 4-1 You feel like everything goes slow motion when a breaking ball like that leaves the hand right down the middle of the plate and it's like the pitcher screaming no and the hitter saying yes and the ball gets tattooed for a big home run. Next for the Padres, Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. Ball two. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And there's a foul ball. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That was blasted to the moon. His 11th of the year, it's 4-2. That one just sounded different. Man, yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swim from the boot. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. 
Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Here's the kid, Jackson Merrill. His first major league hit happened in Korea during the Seoul Series with the Padres. Nearly 7,000 miles away from his hometown of Baltimore. He had to travel across the world for his first career hit, but I think that makes it even more special. Boy. What a cool moment that was for him. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. To the left side, but it is well foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. That one to first, knocks it down. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And they do get the out. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Johnson. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball there. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just in Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is out of here. A solo shot. Their third home run of the inning. It's 4-3. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So the batting order turns over. Profar climbs in on that left side. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That's a laser base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now it's going to be Donovan Solano. And a good eye there. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Next offering is downstairs. Manny Machado on deck for the Padres. It's a strikeout. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Adrian Morahone. 
just now trying to keep this one close here, here, and this is where Number a bullpen 15. can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Now it's Jose Ramirez. There's the strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Ramirez swings and lifts this one. Deep to left. Reaching for it. Brings it in. Gotta love the over the shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. And now it's Josh Naylor. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And another ball. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. The batter. The right at the play. Will Brennan. Two outs, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Nabs it, and that'll do it. Guardians go down one, two, three, but they hold on to a 4 3 lead. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tanner Bybee. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Well, one run game. And the batter now, Manny Machado. Manny Machado. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Good eye on that spot. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Xander Bogarts in the on deck circle. And a pitch. And there's oh, ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. That one missed. Activity in the bullpen. Spencer Howard, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Heron, the power lefty, up as well. With the tying run on at first, and we're the top half of the sixth. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. The pitch. High in the air, out to him. Pulls it in for the out. The first base is number nine, Jay Cronenworth. Now here's Jay Cronenworth. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. One run game, one out, one on. Not even close there. And a count two and a walk. And fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. 
Went right after him there, Siggy. No messing around. Three pitches right there. Three really good fastballs in that at bat. But what stood out is all of them in a different part of the zone. He started them away. You look out over the plate as a hitter, and then he busts you in. You're not quick enough to be able to pull the trigger and turn on it. And then he finished up in the zone. Good velocity. Caught the top part of that strike zone. That's a great example of how you mix your locations. Just as important as mixing speeds. Machado off of first with two away. And that's off the inside edge. Now two and two. Rip to short. They get the force. And that is the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Guardians four and the Padres three. And we're back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Andres Jimenez. And the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the pitch. Oh. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Great that ball. misses. Full count now. In the air, left side, and there's one down. Now third Here's the third baseman. Neither. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. Cleveland up a run looking for more. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it, and there's two away. The batter number four. Shortstop. Now a chance for Brian Rocchio. The bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. Man on second, two down. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two outs. Out towards left center. Merrill on the move. Makes the catch in and over. Guardians leave one. And it remains a 4-3 game.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tim Heron. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. Looking to get the tying run on base. That misses. Two and one. And that's in there at the knees. Left field. Braun settles underneath it. Balls it in, and there's one away. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Holding on to a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. The breaking ball, and that got him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch that grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. And here it comes. Wouldn't chase that time. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Man at first, one away. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. And it is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 5 4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Fastball for a strike. Ball on the mound. And this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Stepping in for San Diego, Donovan Solano. Ripped on the ground a second, gathers, and throws to first. That ends the frame. Two across on this San Diego homer. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Back after this on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 54. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 1 2. Got him! Now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Righty delivers. Slap the other way. Foul. The one two. Out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. 
Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. So now the DH spot, Jose Ramirez. Two down, nobody on. Late on that fastball. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Got him. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. They trail it 5-4. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Spencer Howard. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Now Machado up here. Manny Machado. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, but he's in there easily. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Here's Xander Bogarts. Man at second. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Fires it to the plate. Tag. Too late. He scores. And they lead by two. Oh, well, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Now at the plate, Jake Cronenworth. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Makes the grab. The batter, number seven. Shortstop, Pas Young Kim. So digging in, Ha Sung Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The shortstop takes the ball, and you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Bogart's on the go. There's a ball, and that's a stolen base, not even close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite-level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal of second base. Outside, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So first and second with one man gone. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're in the top of the eighth. Popped up right side. Jimenez calls it in two away and Chris beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively he also okay. can swing the stick so first and second with two outs here's the catcher Kyle Higashioka and it's even up Good job to fight that one off. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you... Chases that one out of the zone. 
That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Padres six and the Guardians four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 48. Now the southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Austin Davis. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. The first baseman. Naylor. Fouls one off. Two and two. That's a little bit low. Bullpen action for the Padres. Robert Suarez, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Estrada getting cranked up as well. Three two now. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. So in now for Cleveland, Will Brennan. Next offering upstairs. And strike two. Tying run at the plate. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. a piece and stays alive with the tying run at the plate here the bottom half of the eighth inning now this is in the air down the line he's got it and there's one away up next to the the second baseman and up next for Cleveland Andres Jimenez you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Next offering is down low. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Naylor leads off first with one away. to the left on the Bogarts not in time at first it's a fielder's choice that's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this position perfectly now the third baseman so he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach think hard right back up the middle the tying run at the plate swing and a pop-up Machado makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for the Guardians. They trail it here, six to four. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Bryce Johnson. He's got a couple homers already, so could he possibly do it again? Come on, man, of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Oh. On the corner for a strike. That one misses two and two.
In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And here is Jerickson Profar. There's a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. And another ball. And that one is inside. So here we go. 